Ash, 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 hey Ash, let's play catch, let's play catch. Not now, Rock Roll, I'm a little busy in a minute, all right? Um, just give me 30 minutes. Let's in, let's in, let's play catch, let's play catch. And how am I supposed to throw you the ball, huh? Oh, yeah. Rowlet, let's play catch, let's play catch. Rowlet, Rock Roll. For the fiftieth time, I don't want to play catch. Ah! Later, sorry, little dude, not at the moment. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, wait, look up in the sky. Is that a bird? Is it a plane? No, it. Super beware, beware. Hello everyone, Trey Man one here, and we're back with another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review. And today, guys, we're talking about episode 27, the episode that Gladion appears in. This episode was amazing, guys. I really enjoyed the animation and everything in this episode. The only issue I had was with Team Rocket, but we'll get into that discussion later. Team Rocket, actually, so far, has been pretty good in this series. I've actually been enjoying them a lot, but... Yeah, we'll talk about what, what happens in this episode that makes me kind of in about Team Rocket in this episode. But the episode begins basically with the Team Skull grunts just like chilling in junk. And basically, Gladion walks by and they're like, hey, let's battle and stuff. Gladion's like, hmm, okay. Like and Rock uses Stone Edge. And the Team Rocket, I mean, Team Skull grunts get taken out. Like, that was like, wow. <laughs> just one shot at them. The team, like, Jesse James, me off of Wubbuffet, see them, and see Gladion, and they're like, wow, he looks strong. So, later on, we go, go to a scene of Ash training with Pete. Well, not Pikachu. Pikachu wasn't doing too much. But Rowlet, Litten, and Rockruff were all training together. And Rockruff, I think this is more focused on Rockruff, because Rockruff fought first he fought against Rowlet. And I like how they brought back how Rowlet. Uses Leaf Edge and sneaks up behind the opponent. That was a very cool scene right there. And Litten, Litten and Rock Roof, they they seem like they can be going at it for real. Cause they their battles their battle was amazing, guys. The animation in this scene was amazing. And yeah, that's basically what went down there. Later on, Ash and the others are just walking in. Basically, Pikachu hears something going on. They all go over there to see. This trainer with a Blastoise get destroyed. I mean, destroyed by Gladion's Black and Rock. And he's just looking like surprised and shocked. Like, wow. Blastoise just lost to a Black and Rock Midnight. Like, this is crazy. Like, everybody's in the city is around watching the battle. And they're so amazed at how Gladion is battling. And Lily comes to Gladion. And it's like, they're basically like catching up on everything. She shows Gladion about. Um, Vulpix and stuff, so yeah, she asks us why he hasn't been, like, been home, or just, yeah, checked and visit on, vi visited them, basically, and, like, Gladion, Gladion is just, like, yeah, and stuff, I actually believe Gladion went on to Akala to take on the trials, I actually believe he might be taking on all the trials as well, and if that's the case, that would be very interesting to see both Gladion and Ash taking on the trials. Ash goes up to Gladion and he's, he's really f ready for a battle. Like, he's like, hey, let's battle and stuff. Gladion basically, like, says not at the moment and stuff because I guess Gladion has some things to take care of. But yeah, basically, Ash is like, all right, well, I stay at Kukui, so I, I, we'll battle another time. Later on in the episode, we basically see Ash and his other Pokemon sleeping and everything. And basically, Somebody knocks on the door, waking Pikachu up. Pikachu tries to wake Ash up, but Ash just doesn't get up, and he just thunderbolts Ash. And like it's funny how the other Pokemon are just still sleeping there. So basically, Ash wakes up to see that a letter slides through. Like Umbreon throws a letter, basically, into the um into the house. Ash opens up this letter, and he's like, "All right!" I'm so excited and energetic. And this just wakes up everybody else in real time. It's like, what's going on? It's an emergency. But later on in this episode, Ash goes back, or goes and meet up with, meets up with Gladion. And basically, this is where the battle happens. 
like in Rock Midnight versus Rock Rough. And this battle had some pretty good animation. But here's the issue I had with this episode. It was too short. Team Rocket come and interrupt like during the, the hype scenes where is you're really getting into this battle. Rock Rough winning for a few bites. Like in Rock winning for a bite. And Stone Edge and Rock and Rock Reviews Rock Throw, but after that, Team Rocket comes and takes Like in Rock Midnight and Pikachu. Basically, so I was like, dang, that that was one issue I had with this episode. I mean, I wish they battled a little more. And it turned out that Gladion wasn't using his Z move on Ash, but he uses it against Team Rocket because Team Rocket, like, I don't know whose truck did they have. I guess they have they made their own truck or bought a truck, but they're just riding around in this truck and stuff with Pikachu and Rock Ruff, like and Rock in the back. And Rock Ruff jumps on and bites the, basically bites the net open, freeing the others. And this is where the animation gets amazing, guys. Gladion and Like and Rock Midnight. Begin to use their Z move, and man, the Rock type Z move looks amazing in the anime. Like this whole segment was just simply amazing, guys. I really enjoyed the animation of the Rock type Z move, and like the Rock just came down on Team Rocket. Like whoa, like this really happened, <laughs> and basically it just explodes. And Team Rocket, of course, blast off again. Like what well, they think they did, but beware. Just jumps out of nowhere and just starts flying. <laughs> I'm like, what the world? He just flies, catches Team Rocket, and they all blast off together. So that was a very cool scene. Like, me where you were did kind of make me feel like it brought be where brought some more comedy to the episode, which was pretty cool. Like that made up for Team what Team Rocket did, but still, I was really, really, really hoping that we got to see Pikachu. Fighting Umbreon at least, or Pikachu fighting Lock and Rock Midnight as well, or just Rock Ruff getting some more experience because it seems Rock Ruff is getting close to uh, evolving. Because Rotom also shows Lock and Rock Midday and Midnight again, so Ro Rock Ruff maybe, 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 maybe not. Maybe Rock Ruff is about to evolve. Something interesting we got in this episode. Well, when Ash and and Gladion, we're about to battle again. Lily comes, and yeah, basically it's time for school. But Gladion also mentions he can't really battle with Lily around anyway, so that was one thing. And Gladion tells Ash about the trials in Akala Island because Ash really wants to use the Rock Z move. So that's Ash's next goal in the series is to go to Akala Island and beat Olivia and I can I cannot wait for that. That is gonna be a hypeful battle. Hopefully by that time we'll have Ash Ash will have a Lycan Rock midday. Because I still believe he's getting like Rock midday after the Pokemon cards that we've seen and all the hints and yeah. Lycan Rock midday versus Lycan Rock midnight would be very amazing guys and I cannot wait for that. But yeah, Ash is going to take on the Akala trial soon, which is gonna be very interesting and I can't wait for it guys. But yeah, that was basically the episode. Gladion walks off and Lily and Ash go to the Pokemon school. But I hope you all enjoyed this review. I really enjoyed this episode a lot. Maybe Team Rocket not like interrupting would have made it better. But it overall, it was still a pretty good episode. We get intro an introduction to Gladion. We also got to hear a little bit about Gladion's backstory. Because when Ash was asking Lily about Gladion, Lily told... like told Ash basically like he wasn't like this before like all like quiet and stuff and actually we get a flashback of Gladion saving an Eevee and I believe this Eevee could, it's the same Eevee like the same Eevee that he is Umbreon now so yeah that was pretty cool seeing that and yeah but I hope y'all enjoyed this review thank you all for watching Trey Man 1 peace out